Building Sustainable Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 54. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 54, covering our team's progress for the week of March 3rd, 2014. If you'd like more details, more pictures, complete links, and everything else, related to everything that I'm talking about, please visit our written blog. And if you'd like to receive a weekly email every time one of these updates comes out, please send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, and a learner-teacher collaborative learning process. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, completed another 25% of the Art, Music, and Trade Skills subject image, which you see expanding in the background. It's now about 75% of the way done. We're now 80% of the way done with the Health subject research, which is topic and images behind the scenes. We also researched another 250 images for the Science subject molecule, which we think we're probably about 50% done with. And we've added an additional online resource section to the bottom of the math subject page, providing links to over 30 different free online resources for teaching the foundational components of math and broken up into sections including core standards, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and fractions. In this area of the project, we are seeking teachers, brainstormers, and creative minds who want to help create the rest of these lesson plans. We've got them outlined, examples on the page of finished lessons, plus a written and video tutorial for how to help. So, if you are someone who'd like to contribute to this open source and free shared education program for all ages and all education levels, please check it out and contact us. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and begins with creating eight different free, shared, and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food completed skylight simulations on the Aquapini and Wallapini designs, testing the difference between the flush skylights, horizontal skylights, 50% versus 100% solar penetration, and the addition of reflective surfaces versus non-reflective surfaces. You can see the complete video on our written blog or on the Aquapini and Wallapini open source hub. Also, David Sweet finished putting the first Xenopini layouts into CAD. Now we're going to start putting this into 3D so we can work out some of the additional details there. And Bupesh Sithala is also about 50% done with the large-scale Aquapini in 3DS Max, which you can see here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber, if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is... Eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week in Highest Good Housing, our main progress was on the vermiculture toilet designs, thanks to the help of Victor Herber. We've now managed to eliminate about 40% of our materials while simplifying the entire design and also making it easier to empty. What you see here is the steel framework with the removable aluminum 3 foot by 7 foot trays. Steel structure will be able to be lifted with jacks to remove both the bottom tray and the bottom steel support framework. You will then be able to lower the remaining trays with the jacks and place the empty tray and support framework back on top. 
In this area of the project, we are seeking a Wi-Fi network designer and a master plumber. If anyone would like to help or know someone who might like to help us finish this open source model. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the Duplicable City Center completed a long list of added 3D details, including doors to the first and second floor storage areas, safety railings adjacent to the elevator, new bathroom locations, and completely redoing the stairway railings to match the new stair designs, thanks to Carl Harris. We are also now 50% complete with the indoor and outdoor planting plan for this structure, and pictures of that are on our blog. And Douglas Sims Stenhouse finished the watercolor render of the Duplicable City Center that we said would be coming this week. Here it is. We also officially welcomed Joel Newman to the graphics design team this last week. Here is his progress, and you can read details about his design process, complete with additional images on this week's written blog. And last but not least, Carl Harris finished the final Duplicable City Center layout in CAD, including updating the central area to match design changes made in 3D, some additional support pillar placement, more redesigned details for the storage areas, stairways, and mezzanine level touch-ups in the dining dome, emergency exit touch-ups, and more. Now he'll be moving on to CAD elevations and window specifics. If you want to see this in detail, visit the open source hub with an image that you can expand. In this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer, specifically for the cupola, to design that so that it can be built without heavy machinery. If you or somebody you know knows someone that could help us out, by all means, get in contact with us if you'd like to be a part of this open source component. So that's our update. And if it isn't already apparent, what we see ourselves creating is so much more than just building sustainable communities. We're building sustainable civilizations. We're simultaneously addressing all of the key elements of the human experience, food, energy, housing, education, fulfilled living models, uh, economic, for-profit, non-profit business creation, all of these elements, truer stewardship, all of these elements put together because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And we see that if we can address these things simultaneously, and if we can make it easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, if we can make it attractive enough, if we can do those three things, we see our ability to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that can be built around the world and will become self-replicating because they provide what people want in a way that is duplicable and in a format that specifically teaches others how to duplicate it. And this is why we talk about it becoming self-replicating. Our goal here is to build a bridge between idealism and pragmatism. Thinking and creating for the highest good of all, bringing together the people with a consciousness, the people with a global vision, the people with a desire to create the infrastructure, the foundation for others to be able to create infinite iterations and to spawn infinite additional ideas based on human creativity and ingenuity, doing what it does best, taking the foundation that we're creating right now and building the broad diversity of other versions of one community built to the needs of the individuals that want to come together and create those things. Hundreds, if not thousands of different versions of this that will then teach others to create additional versions. We're building the infrastructure for a new world right now, and we're inviting people to join us. So we always say that if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we're bringing together the makers, we're bringing together the creators, we're bringing together the visionaries, we're creating, bringing together the engineers, the architects of the future, the people who want to build something because they know that better is possible. That's what we're here to do. And we're inviting people to join us who think that better is possible too, and want to be a part of creating it, want to be a part of making history. We're not waiting for somebody to do this for us. We're doing it right now. And, and this is our process. And so, uh, as always, thank you for following us. If you'd like a weekly updates, if you'd like to follow our progress, we're on all of the different social media networks. You can join us through whichever social media uh, is your favorite. We're on all of them. And also, if you'd like a weekly update email, 
uh, just email us at onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will put you on our email list. And of course, uh, the one thing that One Community is really waiting for most right now is we're still seeking large-scale funding. So if you know somebody, and people ask all the time, what does it take to get One Community started? What will it take to get you guys building? You need to get the property off the market. We've been working with this property for three years, but it's still in the market. And we can't disclose the location until we get it off the market. So we're looking for that one individual or that one group that would like to either invest in one community or would like to donate to one community to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and help us get that property off the market. And if we do that, then we'll start building everything that we're talking about, everything that I've been designing now full time for three years that our team's been working on all this time. We've done over a year of updates. We'll build it all. And this whole process of sharing and open source creation and free sharing will go to an entirely different level as we start putting out more like 10 or 15 videos a week instead of one updates video and complete do-it-yourself instructions and spreads and tutorials and more resources and everything with all of our hands-on experience as we bring together a much larger team than what we have right now to converge on the property to build one community, to build the seven sustainable village models that we've got planned and to share it all free share it all so that people can take that infrastructure and they can develop it in new and interesting ways, new and artistic ways, new and beautiful ways and teach others how to do that too. So if you'd like to help us out, share, sharing what it is that we're doing is a great way to do that. Joining our team is a great way to do that too. And until next week, uh, thanks for following our progress. Thank you for your support. Thanks for the emails and everything that we get and uh, we do appreciate it. Thanks.